All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another video. Uh, I'm going to be playing some games of this Salty Dreadlands list today. Um, if you haven't seen the deck tech for it, uh, check out the link in the description. Um, before we get into gameplay here, um, I made a couple uh, slight changes. Um, I uh, added the Thassa's Oracle to the sideboard here. It doesn't seem totally necessary in the main deck, um, but it is good for those really grindy matchups. So I moved that over there, added in a couple Cavalier Knight Knight for um, aggro decks, and yeah, that's about it. So uh, let's get into some gameplay here and see how the deck performs. I think I'm just going to um, do some single matches just to get a um a lot of different decks played in in this video okay let's see here this hand is great and we go first this is awesome it's pretty ideal we want more lands definitely Play this Witch's Cottage out. Land drop would be great. You could play the Dryad and uh, Fable Passage. No land drops. Okay, so then in this case, um, I'm going to just go ahead and fetch right now. Uh, I think we're going to pull out a forest. We'll do this. And we mill all lands. Okay. They are playing red, green, aggro. Okay. Um, I mean, what else do we block, you know? I don't know. Let's do that. Okay. Um, that wasn't great for us. Questing Beast, wow, yeah. What a dumb card. But they are in for a treat here. Boom. Two to that thing. We'll go get the, get the island here. Oh no, we milled it. Oops. Um, and uh, cool. Okay. Um, so there's that. Um, we want to swing in. Nah. Okay. More Lenoir Elves, gotcha. Um, I'm actually fine just playing Tamyo, and then we'll just uh, get our Fable Passage back here. And we'll start killing Lenoir Elves, probably. And we're back in good standing here. Okay, throwing everything at that. Um, we gotta watch out for shock. Um, it's gonna die anyway. So we're just gonna block here like that. Could have blocked everything, but Ember Cleave. All stories must end. Okay. Um Dryad. They're probably not gonna be happy about this. 
It's only equipped for three. I mean, we might as well just keep shooting down their stuff, right? Okay, so that's our last basic. And we'll get in for three here. Pelt collector, okay. That thing. And now here comes Big Daddy Conk. No attacks. Can I equip something for three? Give it double strike. Hmm, let's see here. Double strike and trample. I'm totally fine with that. Whatever. <laughs> Do some damage. Gonna get rid of a witch's cottage. Draw a card. Okay. Um, we could cycle that, and then we would draw two cards. Seems pretty good. Or we could double play it, kill that. Um, I think I still want to cycle. Let's just see what we get. One, two. Okay. Got an Uro there. Draw a card. Okay, now we can still play. We can still kill that thing. Or we can just kill both of these. Yeah. I'm gonna just kill both of these. Um, play out another Dryad, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. Our board's, board state's pretty good. And why not swing with the crew, huh? Gruel aggro. Hmm. What's that going for you? Okay, feel free to attack all you want. You said dead, man. Mm. Let's go ahead, exile this and that. Gain comes some more life here. Then we're gonna go ahead and mill. We'll put a witch's cottage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they get the point. We win. Cool. So, uh, took down Gruel Agro there with uh, the deck, which is pretty good. Um, Agro decks tend to be this deck's weakness, unless you can... There is a lot of life gain built into the deck, but... Um, if you can't get like a uh, dread presence online um, really early, then um, then uh, it can be kind of tough. So I mean, between Uros, dread presence, and then um, that uh, two mana enchantment, whatever it's called again, I forget. Um, all that stuff gains you quite a bit of life if you can get that get those things going early. Um, I go first. Do I have an untapped green? I do not. Okay. Um, it's like yeah, I guess it's still still fine. Okay. Um, it looks like. We don't have any two drops, so boom, boom, swamp. Okay. 
Another aggro deck, it looks like a cycling deck. Oh, so you Yudaro, okay. It really bugs me that um, these things have different names on the top. Like, the different art would have been just fine, but it's kind of confusing. I mean, it's like the name is so tiny under there. Um, so, I think it's probably just Uro here. Okay, no, um... I'm gonna go get a forest. And we'll just pass the turn. Cat is meowing here. Does it come back inside? This thing's so annoying. Come on. Hmm. You ran away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Um, we drew a land. Um, what is this thing here? Cloyfus. He's gonna exile our girl. That's fine. We got another one in hand. We could return it to hand there, but we'll just uh, play that out. No attacks. Okay, does two damage to us. There you go, buddy. Alright, what are they doing here? Are they doing stuff? Um... Let's go ahead and get rid of Swamp. Draw a card. Ooh, okay, Muldratha. Except no lands, you know, that's kind of the, the hard part. What do we got in there? We got a Fabled Passage. Um, I'm gonna return that to hand. We'll draw a card. Okay, that was not ideal whatsoever. Um, play that out. I think I'm gonna swing in. We're playing uh, Gruel again, okay. This doesn't have Trample, does it? No, oh, it does have Trample, I'm an idiot. Uh, it still will survive, but... Now it won't. I'm a crazy beast. Where do you see my mate? Okay, how are they going to attack here? Let's see. That was absurd. Uh, yeah, so it just dies no matter what. Well, that sucks. We probably lose now. More data will be needed. Um, Cloythus. <laughs> Not great right now. Field of Dead. 
Yeah. Give it a go. I don't think we're winning this one. This random interaction with our graveyard is uh, pretty annoying. And a uh, Yadaro. Okay. Trample, haste. Gitrog Monsieur. So we can make a uh, that fight our. Yep, we're just dead. Okay. Okay, that didn't go too well. That's all right. Another game in here. Um, this hand is not very good. I'm gonna mulligan. It's just too slow. Way too slow. This is better. Um, Crucible of Worlds plus Gitrog is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, we need to draw lands that way then, though. Hmm. I'm gonna bottom the Gitrog, I think. And we have like nothing though. I could just Yeah. We need to draw lands. Okay. All right, well, we got some land stuff going on here. Can block that. Our burial grazer has reach, which is nice. Curious obsession times two. None, gotcha. Okay. See if this re resolves, I hope it does. Okay, we hit an arrow there. Um, blue or black? I think we probably want black here. Okay. No attacks. Cutthroat, gotcha. Mm, I don't know why I didn't swing with both. Let's gain some life there. We drew another grazer. Um, not ideal. Especially if this gets countered. If he 
you have to think about it. You're not smart. Counter it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Might as well just play the um, forest and get another blocker down. Okay. Counter that, fine. No attacks. Sure. Okay, we're just drawing those. Um, Dread Presence it is. It's kind of awkward. We can't kill anything. Drawing cards seems pretty good, though. If he has another essence capture, though. Oh, what am I doing? Perfect. Yeah, why wouldn't he why wouldn't he have another? Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Um doesn't look like there's any Thing but aggro decks in the uh, format today, so it's not the best performance for this uh, deck to be shown off. What are these fucking hands we're drawing? It's getting pissed off here. Perfect. Draw another one of those. Why wouldn't you? Chromatic black. Gotcha. Grabbing a craft digger's cage. Okay, um, Indatha Triome.
Tamiyo down. And then let's uh, try to find a Dread Presence. Oh, right on top. Perfect. This is Citadel again. Alright. Um, no way of interacting with artifacts, unfortunately. Um, and I think that we probably want Dryad here. Perfect, we got one. No, no, we didn't. Okay, that was just an arrow going in there. Okay, um, question is, what do we do here? I think we probably just want another Dryad. We probably just want Dryad, right? Hmm. I know, I know Nothing. I think we just need to kill him. Okay, Moral Sun. That is fine. And then, do we just win here? Put a Dread Presence on top. Rotha. Okay, they concede. Cool. Okay, got the W there. We're going to play another land from the graveyard and then swinging with both. I mean, we had lethal anyway, but yeah. Just really show them the power. Cool. It was a fun game. Let's see what else is out there here. What did we get? Ooh, a Lotus Field. First one, too. <laughs> All right. see here opponent goes first and this is our hand um 
Hmm. Sure. We'll give it a go. Let's, uh... Let's just play that. And since we have lands... Well, we can't play Dryad next turn, though, if we play the Binding. So I think we're going to try to get an untapped land here. We do not. I mean, we'll still take it. No attacks. But they got an end raise forerunners. Oh yikes. We need like dread presence online right right now. Um So it's definitely Triad. Fabled Passage, Fabled Passage. And I'm not going to crack, crack those at all, because um, I want to get a Dread Presence back here. Maybe we actually should have just played one, but... Goes up to three. Gotcha. And then they can... Oof. Okay, so we're definitely getting back to the Dread Presence here. If we didn't draw a land, that really, really sucks. <sighs> so I should have held back the land, I guess. We'll kill the Clan Collar this turn. Yikes. Rex Sage kills that. Wow. Okay, there you are going off. Drawing like trash. Oh yeah, it's unwinnable when you, you can't draw a single land in a 27 land deck that's centered around playing lands. Um, so yeah, we're we're not gonna win here. Um, And we still can't draw lands. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, fuck that. Okay. I'm going to take a little um, break here and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right. Let's hop into some more gameplay here. Sultai Dreadlands for Historic. We've played mostly aggro decks so far. Um, 
would be fun to play like a mid-range strategy. Uh, this hand's fine. Uro next turn. Um, yeah, probably still just Uro. Organizing remorse. Okay, probably take Muldratha here. Field of Dead. Uh, yeah. And an Ashiok, okay. Well, Behold, my that's unexpected. Takes our last card. Ah, they mill a fucking, they mill two swamps. So rude. Ah, we drew a slump. Okay, perfect. Okay. Angrath, okay. So they're like a discard deck or something. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> a fair price. In control of target region and turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Take three. That's just, uh, so that's six, eight. I think we probably still want to draw here. That cycles. Um, so if they don't kill Dread Presence or Dead on board, the rest is fine. Ashiak is fine. Probably just want to draw more cards, right? Since we can't kill him this turn. Um... I 
I'll pay two life. Need a board wipe or something. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Got the W there. Some sort of planeswalker discard deck or something, I guess. Let's uh play another game. Opponent goes first. Um, this hand is fine, yeah. Recycling deck, looks like. Try it into Field of the Dead next turn. Okay, hopefully we draw land here. Kill that thing? Sure. Okay, they just cycle twice. Play land. Cycle again. We get more land. Um, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Probably. Let's do this. Let's do this. Enters tapped. I'm going to draw. Double trigger there. We're going to keep drawing. Boom, boom. Oh, awesome. We can play more land, too. Oh, my God. This is looking great. Cool. Um, we'll keep the Grazer. They might have, like, Zenith, Zenith Flare or something. But uh, we look like we're in pretty good shape, even so. Cycle, 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 gotcha, okay, um, creatures, hey, so I think we probably have lethal here. Not quite, um, Just cottage, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll put this on top. And then um, I wanted to I'd like to order the abilities to draw it, but 
We'll draw a card, lose life. Boom, boom. Take action. Oh, then I think that we can just win here. Cast a land. Boom. Boom, boom. Wow, this is what dreams are made of right here. What an awesome performance. Boom. That was great. That was a really awesome game. That was uh, kind of what we were uh, hoping for, to have a game like that. Granted, our <laughs> opponent didn't interact with us uh, at all. Um, they just played a bunch of cycling cards, but um, I think that would have been a good game against pretty much anything. Dread Presence is a cool card once it gets going. And let's see here. Um, I'll do uh, maybe one more game here. One or two. We'll see how fun this uh, next game is. <laughs> okay, opponent goes first. Um, we do have a binding into Crucible of Worlds, which is okay. We'll try it out. Couple arrows to sustain our life. Okay, they are playing vampires. Actually, probably right to play Dryad next turn. Okay, that works for me. Blue, green. What we got out there? A swamp. do it like that. Lock the martyr if need be. <laughs> okay, what do we want to put it? We drew a swamp. I think we probably want the Gitrog monster. Soren. Probably could play out Uro. I 
We're going to draw off of that. Do we want to put that on top? Um, doesn't really matter. No. Okay, we got a Dread Presence. Um, maybe I wanted to save that. Could have attacked in, I guess, at Zorn. Deal with that thing. We got a lot to do here. Um, have basics left hopefully yeah I got plenty okay kill that look at this value draw cards kill stuff gain life Soaring too. A lot going on here. Okay, so that was the last of our basics. It's fine. Kill Soren there. Oh, I had another Dread Presence. I should have. Well, I just got up to four there, so. Boom. Um. Done. Let's go kill this thing. Kill this thing. Okay. Then we can graze her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They they get the point. <laughs> uh, that was great. I mean, I wish I didn't scoop it up because we were gonna keep keep uh, ruining their day. <laughs> That was fun. Um, let's do one more. Since we had fun last game. So it can take on aggressive decks. Um, just need, uh, you need some stuff to work in your favor. Opponent goes first. Yeah, this fan's fine. Okay. So, go binding into another grazer. Definitely want to be getting that back, so I think that we might just play another binding here.
Exile some cards. Yeah, we didn't hit a land either, so we're gonna definitely do this. Okay, we get lands there. It's good. No tax. Hopefully we draw a land. Ah, uh, Winota. Okay, great. God, this card is obnoxious. Like, what the fuck is Wizards thinking? This, like, in the last year, the power level of magic has just gotten absurd. Like, this card doesn't even need to attack, and then each uh, uh, creature attacking looks at the top six. It's like, what the fuck? Uh... Guess we block Kenrith. Uh, and then what do we want to put in our hand now? I'm not sure. Like we can play a Dread Presence and then adjust. card is ridiculous. Can't believe it's legal. Alright, yeah, so let's look at the top um, 18 cards of our deck, and we get a double up on damage here. Oh, yeah, we get a double up twice here. Perfect. Okay. Um, well. a casual negative 49 pretty fair pretty fair stuff Winota thanks wizards so moral of the story there was you get Winona you win I go first with this hand. Uh, it's pretty slow. We got lands, but it is pretty slow. We are on the play. Well, if we're playing aggro, we're screwed, but we'll see. Esper control. Okay, let's get a um, land for Dread Presence here. Probably holding up counters though. Okay, Narset. Okay. It's not the best for us. I mean, we can kill it if we get a land still. Okay, great. Um, that's actually a really good land to get. Just wait a moment. And then we'll uh, we'll pass it there actually. Hold it up. Docks. They must have a uh, settle, settle the wreckage, right? Let's 
So we're in this crucible world online. Okay, they absorb that. It's fine. Don't think we want to play out the other dryads. Nice. Feel the dead. We're still going to just keep this up. Fairy doesn't look very good here. Okay, Tamio. Um, could get back that Crucible of Worlds, which would be good. Put in your hand four. One, two, three. I think we're gonna shock here. Well, well, we can. We don't have to shock first. Let's see if they have a counter here. Roska's contempt. Um, Green. Nice. Okay, we're going to return this crucible. No tail should be discarded. And then we'll play that out. Let's get in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fairy it is. Draw a card and lose a life. Um, let's do this now. To move quickly. Okay, he's going to untap a couple lands here. Um, Zorb, okay. We got another, they might scoop. Can't handle that. It's too much value right there. So um, it's pretty good. Took down Esper uh, Control there. I think that's probably a good place to stop for this video. What do we get for our prize? Something I don't care about. Cool. Um, let's just take a look at the deck here, quick. Um, yeah, overall the deck's uh, really really cool. Um, I enjoy playing it a lot. Might cut down on one Muldratha. I think you probably only need to run one. Um, it's nice to have. It's not like critical though, but you definitely like having two in hand just feels pretty bad. Um, and at that point, um, maybe you go up to 28 lands and you add in the third field of the dead, you know? Um, I could see that being a thing. And then it kind of becomes like a another strategy of the deck here um so yeah yeah i might try that out and um if it drastically changes how the deck performs then maybe i'll make a new video but uh if you enjoyed this deck and um you want to see more of my content be sure to like and subscribe uh help me grow this channel i uh, just started off so whatever you guys can do to help me uh, gain some followers and everything here and get more views. That would be awesome. And tune in uh, till for the next time. We'll see you next time. All right, bye.